Thai go. Thai go. Not Thai go. Thai go. Thai go. Thai go. Quite a looker, I must say. Oh my, they did the same on this side. Hmm. Everybody likes that. The grill. Everybody likes that. Where do they see that? That's the new R logo. This is the R line kit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to drive and review the all new Volkswagen Tiggo. So, yeah, I see it. Absence and they start. And, wow. Yeah, and just look at this other lady. Cars by Q, Q on cars. She laughs and opens and off. There's our children walk actually. It changes your life. So yeah, we're here. What do we like? The look, this color. Um, we like the wheels. I know that's a friend of Bandra. He's in Yutnik. His mom just acquired a green one, the green rocks as well. And he's got the black package, black styling package. And um, I quite like the color coded mirrors, color coded door handles, the black wheels with the polished. And these are 18s, 215, 45s, 18 inch bags. Um, they're not uncomfortable. They're not uncomfortable. They actually keep with the right quality, which is quite a, what I quite like. And what I liked about when you go into eco mode when driving this car <clears throat> is it can coast when you're going downhill, which is you click over there because it's got the four driving modes. And you can, this one, you can set up to any style, which is individual, which is basically how you would want it to be. Um, what else did I like about this car? Okay, the interior, pretty much what you get in a polo. And as it is pretty much what you get in a polo, um, you do get quite a bit of um, nice touches and things that people mostly enjoy, which is what we always like in being cars. And um, I like these new seats. I like that. I like this. I like this illuminated gear lever, which is that over there. It's when drive now and then when you go into sports mode, you can do that, the gear lever into sports mode. Uh, the drive modes are there. Oh, this car can park itself. A parallel and LED docking, park distance, park, park distance control, switch it on and off. That start stop, which is what it's done now, because uh, we're at the traffic lights. Banyama Zot is a robot, so what it does, you can switch off, saves fuel, petrol, and we're back on again. So we're in eco mode for the time being, and uh, three quarters of a tank gone, and we're on 400 Ks. I think it's impressive. I think we're sitting at 7.6 or 7.8 average. And I think this should do about 550, uh, probably 550 on a tank, 550 Ks. Um, interior spacious, I had, it was fully loaded yesterday at a funeral. People were comfortable. I didn't, uh, I didn't have to give up my sitting position for anything, which is what I quite like. And what I also quite like about the car is how it drives. This engine, this gearbox, and the tetle car, and actually, I went back to my day, but in actual town, the box, the engine, I the pairing, same WhatsApp group, but dial 85 kilowatts, 200 new meters of torque. Might not seem like much, but it does the job beautifully. Beautifully, it does it beautifully. Uh, insulation, I'm not doing any. I find the car, there are things you hear here and there which are just loose objects, but other than that, it's a very, very decent ride. Um, no need. Oh, this one is a high, high spec, it's got the Beats audio system, it's got lane keeping assist, uh, it's got Ford collision alert, it's got oh, it's got a lot of long list of uh, extras, but again, it's a very, very good car. It's a very, very cool. I'm seeing quite a lot of them on the road. I'm seeing quite a lot of them on the road because um, So, what's not to like about this car? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm finding it very, very hard to find something I don't like about this car. Probably what I don't like is the fact that I can't have it now to have because... Pendlini, we had it as a family. We love it. I love everything about it. Now, if I can live with a car, that's what I quite like about the car. Um, the things that, hey, man. Yeah, 
even the best spec one that I saw about about to Twitter will call it poverty spec. Even that one looks good. It is the right color. Even that one looks good. So yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So on a scale of ten. This was a nine. A nine. They could do a performance version of this car, like the GTI, but I don't think they need to. They got the right engine, good fuel consumption, good performance, all around. That's what is important to get the package, because these days, very few cars can strike a chord properly and do it well, like they've done a video with this car. So, like, subscribe, tell us what you think. But the car itself, I know, shame. It's very hard to fault. I like the pedal shifters. The R logo, the, my sitting position is perfect, perfect, perfect. And yeah, I mean, I've been driving it from P and Yudneg and backwards. And it's like I find every little excuse to, to drive it somewhere and do things about it. The one thing I'd like to do though, if I get the tire chance, I don't think it'll disappoint me because even when we do, when we, when we're at the launch, we took a very long route and it just didn't disappoint me. Oh yes, oh, to put off my nearly short route. Design joy, lemon, to your big lemon tat. It's a story for another day that. So it scores a healthy nine out of ten. The Volkswagen Taiko, Taiko, Taiko. When they talk influence, this is influence.